Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. So today's shave is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a barbershop shave, but it's actually going to be a dual shave, if you will. So we're going to be using West Coast Shavings Hair Shop and Katie's Bubbles Tonsorial Parlor. Additionally, I'll be using two different brushes today. They would be the West Coast Shaving Deranged Edition brush as well as the West Coast Shaving Ancient Beacon Stone collection with a 24 millimeter Poisson knot. For the razor, we're gonna be using this Vintage by Call. It's hard to see there. 13 sixteenths uh, near wedge. And then we're gonna finish this off with Thayer's Original Witch Hazel. So let me wet the face and we'll get lathered up. So the first one that we'll be lathering up is going to be Parabur Shop with the deranged edition brush. And this has a 28 millimeter boss knot. <clears throat> I've used this one in a previous uh, review. The soap is in the duck fat base by um, Oleo Soapworks. Really, really excellent base. <clears throat> I especially enjoy the, the post shave feel from Oleo Soapworks uh, canard base. And the scent, as is described right in the name, uh, Pear Bur Shop, is a really juicy, ripe pear and <clears throat> That's really about all I get from this. There's, um, this is intended to be a, a barbershop uh, sort of scent. I do get a, a subtle hint of it on the back end, <clears throat> a little bit on the back end, but really this is a great scent. Um, despite having that kind of citrusy um, aspect to it with the pear, you could probably use this year round. Um, it does have a hint of menthol in it, but very subtle. So even if you're if you're sensitive to menthol, you could certainly use this. All right. So let me just lather up one half of my face here. As I've mentioned in uh, previous videos, this boss knot can hold a little bit of water, and I've got lather flying everywhere but it usually helps to kind of dial in the lather much quicker than, uh, than even other synthetic knots that I've used in the past. As you can see, this is already building up really nicely. And as I lather this, I do start to get the Subtle bit of uh, menthol, really nice. All right, I think that's good right there. And then for the other side, we'll use the ancient beacon stone with the Plasson knot, and we'll be loading up Katie's Bubbles Tonsorial Parlor in the luxury uh, luxury cream soap formula. Now this scent is um, it's described as a sharp citrus with florals with a powdery finish. And so I'll load this up here. It um it pretty much is is right as advertised. Um, I do get a very sharp citrus note um, at the beginning. I'm not entirely sure what that citrus note is, but it's definitely, um, it's very forward. Followed by the florals, and then there's definitely a very um, subtle powdery finish to this um, at the end of it. So this is starting out a little bit airy for me. So I'm just, uh, 
gonna have to really dial this in a little bit more, kind of get rid of this excess proto lather that's uh, that's kind of building up in here. All right, so that's a little, that's plenty right there. And we'll go to the other side. And for those that aren't aware, these are both of the artisans that recently collaborated with West Coast Shaving to come up with uh, the luxury cream formula as well as the duck fat shave soap so um pear shop is one of those offerings exclusive to west coast shaving and they also have the other scents are uh, shipra cologne fougere and oriental and this is a little bit dry as you can see so i'm just going to add a little bit of water to the brush here All are great scents. Additionally, they do have matching splashes as well. There we go. It's looking a little bit better here. This is very different uh, lathering up two different <laughs> different soaps. Katie's Bubbles is a vegan formula, which is one of the better ones on the market, in my opinion. It's been around for quite a while, so if uh, if you're a beginner, I would uh, certainly recommend checking out Katie's Bubbles. They have a lot of uh, different scent offerings. There we go. Much better. Now, I have five days growth, which is a little bit more than usual, so I'm definitely in need of a shave today. Again, using the Vintage by Call. So first pass, we'll go with the grain. This was the Parabur shop side and absolutely amazing slickness. Um, plenty left over. I could buff, you know, without any visible lather here. Um, obviously, as the first pass, so I'm not going to. But the duck fat shave soap uh, does have a slightly, um, I would say, it's a little bit denser as far as the lather goes. Um, the slickness is great. So now we'll go to the tonsorial parlor side. Uh, that was great. That was another great pass on this side. Um, I would say the slickness is um, is about even as far as both of these soaps go. Um, again, I would say the the lather itself is a little bit denser with the duck fat shave soap, but uh, you know, really both are still 
providing you know enough protection. Um, obviously, that that mowed down five days without any issues. Um, I really kind of value the slickness aspect and that's really the big key for me and both of these uh, absolutely provide that. So let me uh, get lathered for pass two. I'm actually finding that both of these scents, uh, you know, they, they complement each other pretty well. Um, obviously with the pear being, providing that citrus aspect to this scent in the uh, duck fat base, really nice. It's, uh, it's definitely sticking around through the duration of this shave so far. I would say that it's, um, I would probably say that the scent strength is about a five, five and a half, maybe a six. Again, I think scent and uh, strength are fairly subjective uh, attributes, um, you know, to each individual. So, all right, let's go to the other side with the Katie's Bubbles. I, the, the citrus with the pear bur shop with this sharp citrus in uh, the Katie's bubbles is quite enjoyable. It's uh, it's a certainly a different sensation getting two different scents, uh, you know, in the same shave. All right, that, that ladder looks great. So, all right, pass two, we're going to go against the grain. And we'll start with the Katie's bubble side. All right, wow, just an excellent, excellent pass. These, uh, these bases themselves are really top tier. Uh, Katie's Bubbles has, has been around for quite a while now, and I think it's, uh, it's not hard to see why. So here we go on the pear bur shop side against the grain. So soft. This is really feeling fantastic.
right here. All right. Should feel around here. I think I'm really happy with where that's at. So we just get rinsed off and we'll get to the post shave. Oh yeah, absolutely great shave. All right, so we're going to finish it off with Thayer's Witch Hazel. Give it a healthy dose there. Really, no? No burn at all. That's always, I feel like, an excellent sign. Didn't uh, didn't overdo it, but since I had more days growth than usual, those shaves tend to be a little bit easier for me, a little bit more forgiving. So, really great. I will say, um, as far as the post shave feel, um, I am very familiar with both of these products, so I, I would give a slight advantage to the. Um, as, as far as just the soap goes, I would give an advantage to the duck fat uh, formula as far as post-shave feel. Um, but Katie's is still excellent. Again, I have no irritation at all. I really enjoy the scent on the tonsorial parlor. It is a, uh, it's a very unique sort of barbershop scent. Both of these are very unique as far as barbershop scents go. But... Um, Really fantastic. I, I really enjoyed that. That was a, a fun shave. It's not every every day you get to use two different products for a shave. Um, so that was fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the shave. I know I did. I look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.